How's it going folks? Welcome back. Because I just finished the previous video, but I'm going to break these up. Because some things are just too good to rush. No, I made this. Excuse me. I hope you don't mind me eating on camera a little bit. Mmm. Pure delight. Mmm. Oh, man. Now to this. Mmm. Section 1. Casual Christianity described in the scriptures and from history. We know that Peter wept in repentance after he denied the Lord and warmed himself by his enemy's fire. But consider Peter's casual reasoning in John 21. So look that up. He, with some of the other disciples agreeing, said, I go a fishing. And I've said that myself many a times. Look forward to saying it again soon. They had the right nets, gear, and boats. They were experienced fishermen and fished all night. Well, that's right, they got them boats you can sleep in. Even during, you know, storms and hurricanes and shit. Hmm. But they caught nothing. Well, experience, but maybe not good. They got a lot of experience at getting skunked when they go fishing. They're probably lousy fishermen, but professionals nonetheless. The problem was that Jesus was not with them. Or directing them. That doesn't sound at all like a cult leader, does it? Hmm. That indeed was their problem. And it is still the problem with many casual church people today. <laughs> a lot less than that even. <sighs> the command of Jesus that his disciples would cast their nets on the other side made it an important point. <sighs> I could not even fish without his direction. And the point was especially true about them fishing for men. Hey, sailor. <laughs> to build the church. Or to serve the Lord in any way. Just remember, there's a difference between kneeling down and bending over. Just remember, you know, got to draw the line somewhere. They needed Jesus and his blessed spirit, and so do we. Of course, they had a direct connection, and everybody else is like, got us, you know, pay as you go, you know, thing. <sighs> Lots of loopholes. <laughs> the I go a fishing attitude today indicates that men need Jesus. And I've been going fishing for the wrong reasons all this time. Some other modern expressions portray the same attitude. I'm discouraged.
Mm. Let's do something. Let's have some fun. Let's play ball. At least that was singular. Or let's go on a hunting trip. Some might say, I am bored stiff with my rigid church. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess some might say a thing like that. I'm moving my membership down the road. <laughs> I need a new echo chamber. This one doesn't sync up quite right. <laughs> I'm the, into prosperity, you know. The show's got to be better. <sighs> where they have real life, have more love for each other, and have lots of fun. Yeah, that was my first impression of the Mormons also. Oh, and the, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, the whole, um, Self-Realization Foundation and stuff like that. Yeah. Those are fun. I hear Scientology can be fun. And that's important. At least twice a week? Yeah. It was like that when I was a kid. Twice a week, sometimes thrice. And then for a while, my parents went, Fuck it! And I'm like, Yes! <laughs> uh, of course, I, then I started reading the damn book and studying it myself. <laughs> the casual Christians fish with their hearts, uh, where their hearts are. What they need is Jesus himself. And the provisions he has made for them. Today, casual people do the easy things and say the right things, but they do it without Holy Ghost power. Actually, those quotations are mine, sorry. Holy Ghost powers, they just said it straight. Just to scare the cougars away. <sighs> yeah, they have mountain lion watch. <laughs> but usually the neighbor dogs are a little crazy. I'd know something's wrong. If such a happens around here, it's kind of cool. I should put some video of a uh, deer in my backyard. Yeah. Uh, but back to the topic at hand. Many do not even try to obey the Lord's New Testament. The Lord's New Testament commandments of taking up their cross, dying to self, and separating themselves from the world. Yeah, that makes sense I guess if you're deep enough in it looking out from your box many go against better knowledge they should serve the Lord by building virtuous character and strong homes schools and churches rather than fishing yeah, get up early on a Sunday for that instead. The crisis of casual Christianity is upon us. And predictably, the worst is yet to come. More victimhood. 
casual Christianity is guilty of causality. This false and subtle reasoning employed to appease the conscience and reflected when the disciples said, I go a fishing. When the Laodi, Laodosians, Laodosians said, I, dramatic lacuni, with a bunch of dots, have need of nothing, end quote. They didn't even need that part of the verse. I'm going to skip that whole section there because they didn't need those parts and I press for space. Look it up. Read before and after. That's what I started doing <laughs> when I was a teenager. Found out just how welcome questions are. And it's reflected in some of today's invitations to church services. Come as you are, dressed to please your own taste. Yeah, yourself isn't dead yet. Got to work on that. In quotes, uh, the same spirit is reflected in entertainment recreation, sports, casual clothing, and slang. <laughs> slang. Guys and gals, and that's actually italicized, are found in the casuals vocabulary. Boy, this is really written for a... <laughs> The Amish, or Mennonites. Mennonites. Uh, I love these guys, by the way. I'm not talking shit. I'm just talking here. Damn flies. I just got out of the shower, man. That's old, old Spice is attracting all these flies, I guess. It's kind of a warm day. Chainsaw stop, that's nice. The spirit of lukewarmness is of this present evil world. Easily missing church services has a wrong spirit. Casual people become very susceptible to moral looseness in speech and conduct. And who knows what else? <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> but, uh, Casual Christianity is not true Christianity. So there you go. A casual, lukewarm Christian is not a Christian. And there's a break off right here to another section, so that'll be another video. Let's digest this slowly, all right? Anyway, your assignment, if you choose to accept it, is to um, tell me what the fuck that meant. Yeah, what, what did you learn? And did it change your life? Testimonials are welcome. I wish we had, you know, response video capability. We would have started one hell of a change. Stay tuned. I've got a long ways to go on just the first goddamn laugh track. But, you know, this is a bit of notes, and they move at a different pace. And I think that's kind of cool. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. I'm going to take a little break here. To be continued. You can have some greenery. Yeah, coming right up to my window almost. Hey you. Yeah, I can see you. 
You handsome devil, you. <laughs> How about that? Oh, he's checking out my chair. I think. See? He's checking out my chair. Ah, don't eat my chair. You must smell treats or something. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Don't eat my chair. Don't eat my chair, Mr. Deer. Wow, six points. Okay. No doubt about that. Those... Hey, what the fuck? Did I spill some goodies in there or something? Is he yawning? <laughs> I was just sitting there a little while ago. Maybe he can smell some. I was eating peanuts. Maybe he's like detecting some salt there. Oh yeah, good stuff. Let's see if you can get in the neighbor's garden maybe. Yeah.